Uh, my name is Christian Svensson. I am Corporate Officer and Vice President of Strategic Planning and Business Development at Capcom. And uh, I'm going to take a few minutes to walk you through our latest version of Marvel vs. Capcom 2 for Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. So, jumping in, you've got all, all the old standards, single player, multiplayer, and the single player we have, you know, the training mode, uh, that is always a, a great way to learn how to play the game, test out the mechanics. You can, you know, change the training options to be two players, so two people can start, you know, trying to mess around with the mechanics themselves. Um, score attack mode and arcade mode are all traditional. Uh, but we're going to jump into multiplayer. Obviously, we have local match, scoreboard match, and friendly match. The game is basically identical to the original Dreamcast and Naomi code. Uh, we decided to use the Dreamcast and Naomi code as opposed to the PS2 and Xbox code because the PS2 and Xbox code have a few little quirks to them that the competitive uh, fans don't actually use it. Uh, they, they, they stick to the Dreamcast code and we'd like this to become sort of the new de facto standard for competitive play. Uh, we've used uh, Backbone Entertainment for, uh, uh, to develop the game. Uh, same guys, same team that did Street, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo HD Remix for us. And with that, we're using, uh, for the first time ever, Marvel vs. Capcom 2 will be online. So we're using the HD Remix network code, basically the best fighting game network code in the world, uh, for this title. So, uh, with that, just like, just like the original, game starts with... Well, there's 55 characters in the game. In the Dreamcast version, you would have to spend hours and hours and hours unlocking this. Uh, for us, we decided not to punish people and say, you know what, you guys know who all the characters are. Everything's going to start unlocked out of the gate for, for everyone to play. Uh, uh, spiral. Uh, yeah, uh, the... One of the things you'll notice, there's, there's widescreen support. The widescreen support is a little different than what we did in HD Remix. In HD Remix, we did a zoom and crop. Because the backgrounds are all already 3D and polygonal, and there's a 3D camera that controls the view, all we did was widen the field of view in the camera uh, to, uh, oh, nice. So the sprites are all up -res. There's actually two different filters to choose from, or you can turn them off entirely. Um, you know, so if you're if you're a purist and you say, you know, I don't I don't like I don't like up in my in my emulations, then you have the option of not not doing that at all. Oh, the, uh, the, two, the two different up reses, one is a bit more uh, filtering than the other. Um, as a matter of fact, the, the, there's a, what's called a crisp, which is sort of a half step, single pass filter uh, between the original sprites. Um, you'll note that actually the backgrounds look really good because the art assets and the textures in the original Dreamcast code are high enough res, way higher res than the original Dreamcast could even handle. So they actually look really, really good here. There have been no gameplay tweaks to the game. Everything is exactly as was. Um, if you wanted to turn on the original uh, sprites and you wanted to put it in 4-3 uh, aspect ratio, you basically have the exact same game that always was with online play, online stats tracking. We'll be doing some rich stats tracking like we did with HD Remix. Um, Trying to think of what else, and that's it, really. I mean, it's it's the favorite that everybody loves, uh, brought back to do, you know, to hopefully have uh, some new some new life, reach some new fans. Uh, game is coming to PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 this summer. Uh, the demo will be available in North America next week, uh, so the last week of April whenever this uh, comes out, and it will be following shortly thereafter in Europe.